Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm just going to quickly show you two foil designs. So I received these beautiful Christmas foils from the Glitter Nail Angel. I will leave a link to their website in the description box below. So they basically brought out this 10 pack selection of Christmas foils. I do think they also have another pack as well on their website but yeah head on over and have a look. And yeah these are absolutely amazing just oh the designs are beautiful you've got your classic christmas designs some abstract designs some snowflakes so yeah there's something for everyone there and then i do also have a discount code which is amanda10 all capital letters which will get you 10% off your order so i just thought i'd have a little play around and show you guys what they're like so first up i'm going to use this full coverage one so i've just cut out a piece a little bit bigger than what um than what i need and then I'm just going to be working on a display tip. So I'm doing a thin layer of a black gel polish just as a background. And I'm going to pop that in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm doing this voice over while my little one is asleep in the background. So I'm really sorry if you can hear her snoring. She's got a little bit of a cold so she's not been sleeping too well. And then once that's cured, I'm going to pop a layer of transfer foil gel over the top of that. Now, this is just a cheapy one from eBay, so it's not amazing. There's a lot better ones out there, but this was all I had to hand. And then I'm going to cure that in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. And then just using my fingers and thumb, I'm lining up that foil and then rubbing it down onto the nail tip. So I'm using my fingertips to begin with so that the heat helps the image to adhere to the nail tip. And then you can see I'm just using a cotton pad to really rub that down and to get out any creases. This step was super tricky simply because it's on a nail tip and I've only got it stuck down with some blue tack. So obviously when you're applying pressure, the tip just wanted to come flying off. So this step is a lot easier when you're doing it on yourself or a client. But basically what I'm doing is making sure that's fully adhered all the way around, rubbing any areas where it hasn't stuck down. And then I'm going to pull it off and you will see that the design is there on the tip. If you do have any bits missing, like there's a part of the image missing, you can go in again and press it down. I just find it a bit easier with the full coverage ones to try and get it all done in one, one sort of tear or pull, whatever you want to call it. And then once I've done that, I'm going to top coat the nail and pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then I do also have just another quick design that I wanted to show you guys as well, just to sort of show that you don't have to use the full coverage foils to do a full coverage nail, if that makes sense. But I love how this one turned out. The beautiful hollow snowflakes, perfect for winter and Christmas. So next up, I'm going to use this Christmassy foil. And as you can see, it's just got some really pretty um, flowers and some berries, some hats. And I just wanted to do a design just to show you guys that you don't always have to do a full coverage nail. So I'm coming in with this colour from Laguana Moon. I believe this one is C024, but I will double check and leave it in the description box below anyway. And because it's quite a pale pink colour, I'm doing two coats of this, curing each coat for 30 seconds. And then once the colour is completely cured, I come in again with that transfer gel and cure that for 30 seconds. And then once that's out of the lamp, I've got my foil and I'm just sort of choosing the image that I want and just pressing down on that image. You can cut the images out as long as you leave enough sort of overhang of the foil so you've got something to pull and grip onto. But I just kept it as it was just for the sake that it was just on display tip. So as you can see, I didn't 
print down or push down I don't know what you'd want to call it the full image so I just come in again and re foiled it <laughs> I don't know can't explain things today and then I just wanted to do something else in the corner so you could leave it like that because I thought that looked quite pretty but I just wanted to come in and do some of the little berries and leaves up in this corner so I just come in I'm lining that up and pressing it down now it doesn't matter if you get any excess bits of foil like you can see there I've got a little piece of something that's printed on because I will show you you can remove that because I added this extra leaf on and then decided I didn't really like the extra leaf so what I'm doing is just coming in with some acetone on an old nail art brush and just wiping away any of the image that I don't want so I decided I didn't want that extra leaf I liked the way the flower looked just in the one corner so I'm just rubbing that away with some acetone and then once that's done I will come in and top coat the nail. So I'm top coating with that same top coat, this is the no wipe top coat from Model 1s and I'm just going to give that a nice even layer and then pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So as you can see this was just a really quick and easy video just to show you guys how I do my foils. Um, I do have a few more videos coming up using these foils because I've got a couple of designs in mind and I also wanted to show you guys how I encapsulated them in acrylic to do an ombre with some glitter so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would love it if you did. Bye bye!